Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the Jaguar F-Pace on a 72 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside though you can see it's a five door car with those black alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the car first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can either do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll then see that we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space along with the three individually folding rear seats should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car. And then as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see firstly, the alloy wheels are all in pristine condition as is the bodywork the whole way around the vehicle. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the speedometer. We have the rev counter on the right-hand side. In the center, you can see the digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, directly beneath that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so of course, we are in park at the moment. In the top left-hand section, uh, of that uh, central bit there, you've got the total miles for the car. They are 15,811, above which we have the fuel gauge for the car. If we back out to the steering wheel, over on the left-hand side, we have our phone controls. Uh, the buttons on here, uh, you can use to run through certain menus. Over on the right-hand side, we have cruise control, speed limiter, a heated uh, steering wheel as well. Then we have the minus and plus paddle, so that you can change up and down a gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over into the centre next, we have the main touchscreen for the car. So you can access your satellite navigation. Really nice, clear colour display. It's very, very easy to use, as you can see. Anytime you want to come back to the home screen, you can do down here. Uh, you can, of course, pair up your phone to the car, which we're not going to do at the moment. We have our media menu. You can see there that we've got DAB radio. Uh, this car also has uh, AM, FM Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly as well. That is, of course, once you've paired up your phone. And you can swipe through for various other options. On top of all of that, we have a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that's being shown up on that screen. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the uh, passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can push this button in to control your heated passenger seat. Uh, you can push this button in for the heated driver seat, of course. Push it back in again to go back to the previous setting, which is, of course, your temperature. Pull it to operate the fan speed within the car and then give it a push again to go back to, again, the temperature section. Uh, you can use these touch buttons just here to turn on your heated rear front screen you can recirculate the air that's in the car as well you can determine what direction the air is being distributed in we can control our heated seats from here as well as on here uh, and you can put the whole system into auto so the car will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperature that you have uh, asked for on here below that we have some storage uh, which is also wireless phone charging so if your uh, phone is capable of wireless phone charging pop it on that pad and it will begin to charge the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, the volume for the stereo, start and stop button for your engine, uh, just there. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the sun blind that you can see here. So uh, button up here will open that all the way to the back of the rear seats. This section of glass is fixed in position, but as you can see, it lets in a huge amount of extra light to the cabin area. The last thing I wanted to mention is the paperwork we have for the car. So just there you can see the V5 registration document. Uh, in the envelope is the spare key for the car. Uh, so two keys in total. And then we have some service documents underneath that as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.